Good afternoon and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Bobby Richardson and I'd like to bring you the February monthly update. On February 2nd, Megan Hanna attended the 2024 Law Enforcement Torch Run Conference in Bloomington, Illinois. In 2023, the Sheriff's Office raised $17,000 in various events hosted throughout the year. Our next event we have coming up is a Duncan Cop on a Rooftop on May 17th from 5 a.m. till noon at the Orchard Road Dunkin' Donuts as well as the Gas and Wash Dunkin' Donuts in Plano. We look forward to seeing you all out there for this great event. On February 6th, our Electronic Home Monitoring Coordinator, Jody Wolf, and her assistant, Luke Lanehart, attended the Indian Valley Vocational Center where they presented information about the alerts they monitor, how to read the maps, and much more. They then allowed everyone to wear a bracelet and see how all the equipment worked. Thank you, Indian Valley, for allowing us to present this to your students, and we hope they gain some insight as to the electronic home monitoring world here at the Sheriff's Office. On February 7th, the Sheriff's Office, along with Yorkville Police Department, participated in a Battle of the Badge blood drive. This blood drive was put on by Versatile Blood Centers, and we wanted to thank everyone who participated and came out to support the Sheriff's Office and Yorkville Police Department for such a great cause. On February 12th, many members of the Sheriff's Office attended the Illinois Sheriff's Association Conference in Normal, Illinois. This year at the conference, Jeanette Walter Fichtel, a KenCom dispatcher, received the award of Telecommunicator of the Year from the Illinois Sheriff's Association. The Telecommunicator of the Year award was very well deserved. We also would like to recognize all of our dispatchers in KenCom for the job that they do day in and day out, not only for the Sheriff's Office, but for all the municipalities located within Kendall County. Thank you, Ken County, for all that you do. Deputy Lynch and Deputy Taylor were also nominated for awards through the Illinois Sheriff's Association, one for Deputy of the Year and the other one for Correctional Deputy of the Year. We want to thank them for all the hard work that they did during the year of 2023 and their continued efforts to support the community. Also this year, Sheriff Dwight Baird was sworn in as the president of the Illinois Sheriff's Association. This position oversees the Sheriff's Association throughout 102 counties here in the state of Illinois. We'd like to congratulate Sheriff Baird for this great accomplishment. On February 14th, Sergeant Nancy Velez was recognized as the Employee of the Year here at the Sheriff's Office. She was nominated by a supervisor of the Correctional Division for exemplary performance throughout the year. Sergeant Velez represents the best of the Sheriff's Office and is a great asset to the citizens of Kendall County. I'd like to congratulate Sergeant Velez on this great accomplishment as well as her commitment to the mission of the Sheriff's Office and her dedication to the citizens of Kendall County. On February 17th, the Sheriff's Office participated in a pancake breakfast at the Yorkville Moose Lodge. The Sheriff's Office was able to raise over $2,200 for the law enforcement torch run for Special Olympics and our Polar Plunge team. I'd like to give a special thank you to Yorkville Moose Lodge 2371 for their continued support of the Sheriff's Office and Special Olympics Illinois. Thank you for hosting this great event. On February 22nd, the Sheriff's Office swore in Patrol Deputy Alex Jordan. He worked as a police officer with Yorkville Police Department and Ottawa Police Department before being hired on here at the Sheriff's Office. Alex Jordan will now participate in a Sheriff's Office acclimation training phase and will then be paired with an experienced field training officer for his FTO phase. Welcome aboard, Deputy Jordan. On February 27th, many members of the Sheriff's Office participated in a ride to school to Newark Grade School for Everly, who won a raffle to be made an honorary deputy for the day. Deputies from the Sheriff's Office picked her up along with her sister Sydney, who won principal for the day, and escorted them to the Newark District 66th grade school in a squad car with lights, sirens, and all. Once we arrived at the school, we met up with Newark Fire Department, who had picked up a firefighter for the day. Congratulations, Everly. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. From February 12th to February 16th, Newark Grade School participated in the Penny Wars for Special Olympics, which raised over $145 for Team Kendall. Also, all three teachers accepted the challenge to take the plunge with the Sheriff's Office team at Loon Lake. After all the money was counted, the Illinois Special Olympics Polar Bear, along with many members of the Sheriff's Office, returned to Newark Grade School, where they presented Illinois Law Enforcement Torch Run t-shirts to the three teachers that participated in this event. Thank you to all the teachers and students that participated in this great event. On February 20th, Deputy Dan Briars and Deputy Stuart Bluen attended Miss Hettinger's first grade class at Newark Grade School as they were learning the difference between rules and laws. The Sheriff's Office was able to participate in classroom discussion and answer many questions. 
As always, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Like us on all of our socials, smash that subscribe button, ring that bell, and we'll see you on the next one.